the tabloids and carnival of so-called experts have been calling for members of the public to be kind to Kim Moton. Not to ask questions of where is K. Moulton. That's what the carnival of so-called experts have been saying. It is sad that that courtesy has never ever been extended to Megan. Whereby the tabloids have openly mocked both Harry and especially Megan for simply wanting to be treated as human beings with respect with dignity UK media have mocked her and Megan and today I just found out that Nigel Farage who's paid by GB News that has an ongoing hate campaign against Harry Meghan did an interview with Donald Trump, the twice impeached former president of the United States of America, just so he can get Trump to threaten Prince Harry. So in the UK, they're asking for Kate to be shown kindness by the public. However, you are having carnival of so-called experts roping in a former president of the United States of America, who clearly is going to be, or my family by now is, the Republican nominee for president of the United States of America. Right now, Trump is the Republican nominee for president of the United States of America. Meaning, he may or may not be president once again. My family, who knows? Who knows? Although I'm hoping that Donald Trump doesn't win, my family, still, he could win. Who knows once again? Who knows? I can't predict the future. And my family, right now, we are seeing UK media constantly using him using someone with a huge following like Donald Trump to wage a war against Harry and Meghan in the US. That's what we've been seeing for a very, very long time. And my family, I want you to be able to hear some words from Donald Trump. There are some things that he said in my family about Prince Harry the Prince Duke Harry of may not be able to stay. That's like my family. Could Trump get, Prince Harry may not be able to stay in America if Trump gets elected. If they know something about the drugs and if he lied, they'll have to take appropriate action. My family, you've heard that. What Donald Trump, my family, has said. But I want you to hear it, my family. You know, the drugs and once again, lied, my family. Have to take, you know, may not be able to stay. In America, if Trump gets elected. If they know something about the drugs and if he lied, they'll have to take appropriate action. My family, that's what is being said by my family, Donald J. Trump. My family. As he threatens to kick Harry out of the U.S. just to do the bidding of the U.K. media who have an ongoing vendetta against Prince Harry and Meghan because they can't accept Harry and Meghan's rejection. You know, let me read you more on what Donald Trump, my family, said as he made threats towards Prince Harry. My family, so Farage asked Trump about Prince Harry. And of course, the family, whenever you see, anyone who works for the UK media doing an interview with people who live in America, of course they ask about Prince Harry. I have seen Ron DeSantis who my family was also at one point believed that he could possibly 
when the Republican nomination to run for president of the United States of America. But my family, he backed out. I saw him also being interviewed by Piers Morgan, whereby he asked him about Ari and was trying to get something negative from him about Harry and Meghan. So my family, yesterday, I was talking about, you know, hounding. William was saying that, you know, he feels like what happened to his mother is happening to Kate Middleton. And yesterday I said, William doesn't know the meaning of being hounded. What's happening to Harry and Meghan where UK media are going to people in power in the US even if Trump is a former president he still wields some influence he has a huge following my family say what you want about him still the guy has a huge following in the US and UK media they know what they're doing they know what they're doing they're using him also to target Harry Meghan. Wiki media want to destroy, want to break as a couple, want to destroy their, their marriage, want to, want to separate them, you know, want to take Harry by force from the US and bring him to the UK by force because they can't stand or accept Harry's rejection. And my family, UK media, they know what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing. You know? They know what they're doing. And them using Donald Trump to target Harry in the US, that is what I call hounding. That's hounding. Harry and Meghan are hounded on a daily basis by the UK media who refuse to let Harry and Meghan go. Even if Harry and Meghan are quiet, Silent. Still, as you can see, UK media refuse to let them go. They refuse to. You know? They can't accept Harry and Meghan's rejection. They can't stand seeing Harry and Meghan thriving in the US and creating a beautiful life in the US. UK media want to destroy that. They want to create a toxic environment for Harry and Meghan in the US like they did to Harry Meghan in the UK. What I find so hypocritical, really, is that back in the UK, the carnival of so-called experts in the UK media are saying Harry wants to come back to the UK. Harry wants to return and do role duties. But yet, in the US, my family, UK media, are behind Heritage Foundation court case against the Department of Homeland Security, whereby they're trying to get Harry deported from the US and back to the UK by force. So if Harry wants to come back so badly, then why are UK media behind trying to get him deported? My family, American media outlets aren't interested in this case by Heritage Foundation. They're not. It's only UK media. To the point, they're sending Nigel Farage to go to speak to Trump to ask him, to ask him if he wins, if he can deport Harry. What people don't understand is that Harry and Meghan came to the US, fled to the US when Donald Trump was president of the United States. States of America and Trump did nothing to remove Harry and Meghan from the US because he could not. However, what he did, what he did do, is he publicly that the US won't fund Harry and Meghan security. And my family, as you can see, Harry and Meghan have been targeted, security removed. That is hounding. That is harassment. And clearly, they are being harassed by the media who are using minions like Trump to go after Harry and Meghan in the US to ensure that Harry and Meghan have no peace in the US. 
Dad and Megan are always watching their back. That's what Chucky Media are doing. Because, you know, they're so, so desperate to have Harry back, you know, to come back to the UK, John Rawfold, and continue that ongoing soap opera in the Rawfold family. Because my family, I mean, where else do they want Harry back? Why? Why are they so desperate to have Harry back inside the cage, inside the Gilded King family? Because clearly, UK media want Harry to keep on performing for them, to keep on dancing to their tunes. That's what they want, to keep drama around him by force, by force. Harry has refused to play the game. He lives in the US, but what are UK media doing? They are trying to bring him back. To a toxic atmosphere. Back in the UK. By force. To see Harry. Perform for them. So Harry can perform for them. So Harry can play the game. By force. My family. That's what they're doing. And my family. The actions of the UK media. Are utterly despicable. Harry and Meghan fled to the US. When Donald Trump was president of the United States of America. You know, some people tend to forget that. You know? And now the media are like, if you win, if you win, what does it mean for Prince Harry? Will he stay here? They're trying to get Trump to do something about Harry and Meghan if he wins. To remove Harry, in particular, from the US. And send him back to the UK. Back to my family whereby his abusers are there. You know, whenever Harry is in the UK, I think all of us have seen how he is treated by the UK media. Appallingly. Appallingly. He's abused, insulted. Even to this day, for daring to stand up against his bullies. You know, the only thing that Harry has ever wanted is to live in peace with Megan and Archie. But UK media and the farm refuse to let Harry Megan live in peace. And then they all get angry when Harry speaks about what they're doing. When Harry speaks about how he and Megan are being hounded, UK media accuse Harry Megan of whinging. They say Harry Megan want this. They want the attention. Nobody wants this. Nobody wants this. Nobody wants to be hounded on a daily basis. Harry Megan have said nothing about the royal family. They're living their lives. My family. They're living their lives. Megan in particular has mentioned, not even mentioned a word about Charles William Kero Camela. Not even a word. You know? Not even a word. But yet, my family, as you can see, UK media, don't stop talking about Megan or Harry. As you can see, even when Harry and Megan are quiet, and saying nothing about the royal family behind the scenes, something else is going on. UK media continue their hateful vendetta against Harry and Meghan. My family. And basically, Trump has warned that Prince Harry could be kicked out of America in an interview with GB News Nigel Farage. And that Trump warned that Prince Harry faces an uncertain future in America if he is elected as the next president. And Trump said that there should be no, you know, favorable treatment for Prince Harry, who they say faces the risk of being deported from the U.S., my family. And when Trump was asked by Farage if Harry should have special privileges if the you know, authorities find that he lied on his visa application, Trump said, no. We'll have to see if they know something about the drugs. And if he lied, they'll have to take appropriate action. And then Farage asked Trump, what does that mean? 
no staying in America? Trump said, oh, I don't know. You'll have to tell me. You just have to tell me. You would have thought they would have known this a long time ago. My family. Basically, is asking UK media, Nigel Farage, what they want. You tell me. Do you want him back? Do you want me to deport him from the US if I become president? First of all, Trump, my family, even if he does win, first of all, I don't think he'll, my family, be able to deport Harry from the US. Although I don't want to underestimate him. But here are the facts. Harry is married to an American citizen. Harry has an American daughter, Lilibet. His son Archie has spent more time in the US than he ever has in the UK. As Harry said in the Harry and Meghan documentary, this life in the US is all they know. This is their home. This is our home. I'm quoting had his very, very own words. My family. You know? This is their home. The US is their home. They have built a special home for themselves. And UK Media want that all to go away. Want to destroy that. While telling us to be kind to K. Moulton, here they are trying to destroy Harry Miguel's family in the US. UK tablets and individuals like Nigel Farage are the biggest hypocrites in the entire entire planet. And my family, they must be called out for their blatant level, you know, of my family hypocrisy. Too much hypocrisy. Too, too much hypocrisy. My family. And just hear what my family, you know, GB News, what they said. That Tom's comments are likely to concern Prince Harry who may be deported from the U.S., where he lives in his mansion with his wife and two kids. Do you see that? Do you see that? They won't hurry back by any means necessary, and they'll stop at nothing to get Harry back. They'll stop at nothing to get Harry back, even if my family by force. You know? So my family, first of all, Clearly, you can be lying when they say that Harry wants to come back. Because if he did, then my family, there'll be no need for Wikimedia to basically be behind this case. Whereby they're trying to get my family, you know, access to Harry's visa, you know, documents. So that they can find a way to get Harry reported from the US and back to the UK by force. Remember what Wikimedia want. Remember the end goal of how they want to see. Prince Harry. They want him back, my family, you know, in the UK with a tail between his legs, my family. That's what my family, you know, UK media want. My family. They want Harry back in the UK with a tail between my family, his legs. Meaning, a failure. They want him and Megan to fail my family, you know. And my family, I hope that uh, UK media do not succeed in the quest of trying to ruin Harry Megan's lives in America that Harry Megan have built for themselves. A beautiful life in America. Away from the abusers, but the abusers are so desperate to have, you know, Harry Megan back to abuse them even more. Because my family, let's all face it. Really, whenever Harry is in the UK, UK media are abusive. Always, always, always abusive. Always. And then they wonder why Harry lives quickly. You know? Then they wonder why is Harry, you know, living so, so quickly? You know? Why can't he stay longer? Why can't he stay to just see, you know, see Charles and be with Charles? You know, UK media, you know, they wonder. They wonder. My family, they wonder.
they abuse him and then they wonder why he doesn't stay longer. The thing is, Harry and Meghan have been shown what to expect from the Wikimedia. Abuse, insults, harassment, bullying, misogyny, racism. And since Wikimedia have shown Harry and Meghan what to expect, then why would Harry and Meghan, my family, want to come back to the arms of the abusers? Of course, Harry and Meghan would not want to come back to the arms of their abusers. So what are UK media doing? UK media are basically trying to force Harry back by force. Well, but he's unable to be, you know, with Megan, Archie, Lilibet, because there's no way Harry brings Megan or Archie or Lilibet to a place he knows is unsafe for him and Megan. There's no way Harry does that. No way, no way. So really, my family, they know, UK media know, the high won't bring Megan or Archie or Lilibet to the UK because it's unsafe. Because my family, Harry and Megan, don't receive effective armed security when they're in the UK. And UK media know that. They know Harry, whatever put Megan or Archie or Lily at risk. And that's why they are really, really desperate to get Harry back by force, even my family. Because they know they'll get what, you know, they always dream of, dream of my family. Harry alone without Megan. Archie really better. But the one thing that also really, really puzzles me here is let's say, for example, UK Media succeed. Let's say, for example, that uh, UK Media do succeed uh, to get what uh, they want. Let's say they succeed in getting Harry deported. What makes them think or believe that Prince Harry will only stay in the UK? Because everything they're hoping would happen is that Harry will stay and remain in the UK and never go anywhere else. What if Harry goes to Canada and tells Megan, Megan, come over to Canada with the kids. We'll stay here. What happens then? What happens then? You know, but I think it's all about just embarrassing Prince Harry. It's about embarrassing him and uh, causing some kind of humiliation towards Harry. Remember what took him on to see is Harry back with a tail between his legs don't humiliate him by getting Harry reported that's what UK media want my family I do hope and pray that UK media never ever succeed in the evil quest my family and I also hope that Donald Trump does not win I hope that Donald Trump does not win one bit my family that's my hope I hope that Donald Trump does not win my family, the elections. You know, I hope that Joe Biden continues being president of the United States of America, my family, and that may no problem against Harry, Meghan, Archie, and also Lily Petana ever prosper. And it appears really that clearly the only reason why UK media may want even Donald Trump to become president really is so that he can help them by trying to get Harry deported from the US and back to the UK so that Harry comes back to perform for them. That's what the media wants so badly. Harry performing. Harry performing for them. Harry dancing their tunes. My family. That's what, you know, they want. My family. UK media will not get what uh, they want. And in response to what Donald Trump, my family, has said, members of the squad have commented. And I want to read you some comments about from members of the squad on X, formerly called Twitter. My family, someone that, you know, the Lord will protect Prince Harry and Harry's family. Someone else said that, my family, you know, about Harry on Instagram, my family, that uh, may the Lord protect Prince Harry. Someone else said that Donald no, Trump will say anything he can't to get a vote. He can't legally kick Harry out, even if he became president again. They will never go back to the UK. Even if the Wallace dreams of the UK media come, came true and that Harry was forced to leave the US, Harry, Meghan, Archie, and Lilibet will simply 
relocate to another country. Harry will never ever leave or abandon his family. My family, someone else said that. You know? Someone else said that Trump is a complete loser. Like the key media. More especially GB News. Having said that, Trump better cover the money to pay the state of New York. My family, you know? Because right now, I can also see that Donald Trump is being asked to pay my family a lot of money. A lot of money. My family. Trump is being asked to pay a lot of money. You know, my family, you know. And clearly, he hasn't paid. You know, Trump owes more than $500 million. And based on what I'm learning my family right now, it is being reported that Trump is unable to finance an appeal bond for at least $450 million, his lawyers are saying. And that Trump and the Trump organization have been unable to get an insurer that issues court bonds to accept property as my family collateral. My family, that is what is being said, my family right now you know and trump has failed to finance an appeal bond for more than 450 million dollars to cover adjustment in the new york attorney general's business fraud case against him and trump is reprieve from an appellate court to keep the state from seizing his assets now, instead of Trump focusing on that, my family, he has time to whinge about Harry Meghan or threaten Harry Meghan. My family who are living in the U.S. in peace and working to put food on the table. Just to do the bidding of the UK media. It's despicable. It is despicable. My family, what I want you to note really here is that UK media are behind this case to try and get her deported. Just like they're behind Samantha's case against Megan, which Samantha lost. They're behind it. They're behind it. And Wikimedia just want to cause trouble. That's what they want. You know, to get clicks for the headlines, for my family engagement. And my family, I hope that Wikimedia, you know, don't succeed in their evil process against Harry Megan, Archie, and also my family, Lily Bedan. Now, my family, I want to hear your opinion on uh, what we have just discussed. My family, Donald Trump, you won't succeed in ruining or destroying the lives of Harry Megan to please your UK media friends. You will not. You will not. You know? And my family, how I would say that how the mighty have fallen. Donald Trump used to be so, so powerful. And full of so much influence in family. And indeed he still has some kind of influence. But to see him doing the bidding of the UK media. How low, how low he truly has fallen. How low Trump truly has fallen, my family. How low. And my family clearly, as you can see really, GB News refuses to let Harry and Meghan go. UK media refused to let Harry and Meghan go. And my family, they need to leave them alone. They need to leave Harry and Meghan alone. My family, now you tell me your thoughts about what we have just discussed. I want to hear your opinion. May God bless Harry, Meghan, Archie, and also Lily Bertana and Dora Waglan. And all of you members who are at home, he never wins. Love wins and stay tuned to our next video. Love you all forever and may God bless each and every single one of you, my family. You know? And may no open forward against Harry, Meghan, Archie, and Lily Bertana ever prosper. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you also forever. Trump, you won't succeed. UK Media will not succeed. This right wing think tank, Heritage Foundation, you will not succeed in destroying Harry Megan's lives in the US. You won't. You won't, man. You won't. They will not succeed. UK Media, the farm will not succeed. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you also forever. And may God bless you all. Hello, members of the Zisco Community. 
First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil and for that I say thank you. Good will always be great over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much family from the bottom of my heart and I wish you all the best. May you have a great great day and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video, leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.